Hello, in this project, a psychophysiological sensor construct in synchronization paradigm for user sensing, I propose a model for triangulating and synchronizing several sensors online to a connected data stream, which were used in the case study user experience in relation to visual art. Looking at the current literature within user experience in relation to media, it is apparent that the use of multimodal psychophysiological sensors are more and more used. I investigate their needs and problems, and thereby being able to propose the following problem statements. Can a state-of-the-art multi-sensor triangulation protocol be implemented as a generalistic approach towards synchronizing and analyzing psychophysiological signals? The following multi-model sensor triangulation protocol was proposed. First, it needs to be flexible by including different sorts of sensors. Then it needs to be synchronized by one software slash hardware which will sample the data at the highest sample rate available. The stream of triggers, which either depends on temporal, spatial or event information in relation to the stimuli. Now the stream of data can be processed online or offline. Online will enable a feedback loop thus approaching a fit of computing. Offline will enable analysis and classification of the signal in relation to, for instance, user experience. Through offline analysis, there can either be chosen to go with decision fusion or feature fusion. The following steps will need to be walked through to obtain the final results. First triggering, then filtering, and then analysis, then classifying, and then you got the tangible results. The protocol was implemented with only one major change being the biometric signals had to be synchronized offline due to the nature of the empathica. The synchronization results were as follows. The process of synchronizing eye tracking via UDP networking with the EEG performed as expected. The calculated sample ratio was 4.2667 and the system executed sample ratio was 4.2696 which means only non-significant delay was introduced. On top of that, only few UDP messages went missing over all 29 test trials. Since the biometrics were synchronized offline and they didn't have any triggers, and the internal clock of the Empathica is shifted, it is uncertain whether or not the data is synchronized correctly. On top of that, the sample rate from the different sensors are very different. The EG sampled at 256 Hz and the heart rate sampled at 1 Hz. Which means if we are viewing 2 seconds of the collected data stream, we'll have a nice EG signal. However, the heart rate will just be aligned and seem aliased. On the other hand, if we are viewing 2 minutes of the data, the EG will be a clutter and the heart rate will be tangible. This will cause some crucial analysis problems in the end as the heart rate will need more details to tell what is true when related to the EEG signal. All in all, the path of the protocol which is still according to the plan is working as it should, thus indicating it might be a yes towards creating a generalistic protocol for synchronizing the sensors.